For our dose of heart and soul this month, we're focusing on family, sharing stories of women in leadership. Here's Sylvia Williams with our Heart and Soul Connections. Today, I'm here with Gina Johnson, who has an inspiring leadership story. Gina, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. It's good to be with you. Yeah, it's great to see you. You attended Wellesley College, uh, Gina, which is an Ivy League all-girls school in Wellesley, Massachusetts. Now, many great women are graduates of Wellesley, including some of the women are Hillary Clinton, Madeline Albright, Diane Sawyer, and you. <laughs> what impact did attending Wellesley have on you? And how has it shaped you into the woman you are today? Well, first of all, it was a real serious atmosphere. And um, it was a place where you know, women wanted to learn, they wanted to study, they, they weren't typically like a typical college atmosphere. Every woman wants to have fun, but um, there were a lot less drugs, alcohol um, that are distracting from learning what you need to learn in a college atmosphere. So I wanted a really rigorous academic atmosphere. And with that said, Gina, what did you major in at Wellesley? I majored in international studies with a focus on the Soviet Union um, and minored in economics. And my, wow. my concern really was I, I uh, was fully aware of how persecuted Jews and Christians were in the Iron Curtain countries and Soviet Union, especially. I loved the Russian literature, passionate, probably because they've been under so much persecution, been so much in the fire that they're their passion comes through their art, their music, their, mm -hmm. their literature. Mm -hmm. So, um, wow, that's that, great. And I studied it with an intention of helping the Iron Curtain be destroyed. Yeah, she and, wanted to have it help have it uh, help abolish it, but by the time you graduated, it had been abolished. That's right. It was abolished <laughs> in '88, and I graduated in '89, and wow. said, "Wow, they did a great job," and, and looked for a direction. And you've also run for state representative in the 71st district. And you are a director of something called Mishop. What is Mishop? Mishop is Michigan Capital House of Prayer. Obviously, I did not abandon my Christian roots. I just got stronger in them. Um, I learned to evaluate real justice, real truth, real facts. And therefore, I I at the core of who I am, I believe that it is very important to have a prayer life, to know who you are with the Almighty, with the Creator, the Savior, Jesus Christ, and to stand strong in that. If we don't have that core strength, when the waves start coming and the challenges arrive, you can't stand. So Michigan Capital House of Prayer is a place where um, Christians come together, and it uh, doesn't matter where you come from politically. If you can agree that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, you get to pray together and have your own reserve spots or group with others. Mm -hmm. But the point is, 1 Timothy 2, pray for everyone in authority over you. It's a governmental house of prayer. It's Excellent. right next to the capital of Michigan. Excellent. So, Gina, as we come to the end of this program, what are the two things you'd suggest to educated women who are seeking a career in raising a family? Because I do know that you raised your daughter who is uh, soon to get married, congratulations. But what are two things you to suggest to educated women who are seeking a career in today's society? I would suggest that you figure out who you are in God first and seek older women who are wise, who are stable, who are happy, full of joy and at peace. And they have a strong relationship with God, they can mentor you well. They can help you through all of the raising your children, juggling a uh, job and raising children. I had to do that. I became a single parent when my daughter was very young. Um, and we need to be in community, Christian community with each other. God never created us to be solitary. So it is not weak to reach out for help. It is not weak to ask for advice. It's strong. It will make you stronger. It will Absolutely. teach you things. That you would have had to spend 30 years learning on your own and mostly mistakes. And so learn from the mistakes of the older women, older teach younger. That's a biblical principle. Well, Gina, thank you so much for joining us today. 
I appreciate you. It's always great to see you. And Julie, back to you. To hear more from the women of She Leads Michigan, head to our website, expertconnections.tv and click Heart and Soul Connections.